What is going on everybody? It is Bush Fishing or SD Marine and we are back. Now you guys might remember this place if you've been here for a while, but today we're going to be starting off in the garage here. This video is going to be about the start of building the T-top for my Robalo 230. If you guys haven't watched the previous videos, make sure to check those out because we got a good start on it. You can see everything that we've done so far, needed the transom and a whole bunch of other stuff. There is some stuff that I did behind the scenes. I didn't get a video last week and I apologize for that. I had a bunch of jobs and I didn't have a whole lot of time to work on the boat, but this weekend we do. So I'm going to be starting Starting off here right now, it's Friday, March, March 22nd, and we just had about five inches of snow. So that's interesting, but I'm gonna be starting here. I'm gonna get all of my pipe bent and cut. You can see behind me, I got two sticks. There's another two over there. And what we're gonna be doing is the rear stick is gonna be cut at 10 degrees on the end, and it's gonna go straight up. The front stick is gonna come up to the console height straight up and then bend back 10 degrees following the angle of the front one. I think that's what's gonna look best and we're gonna weld some feet on it. You guys will see more once we get into bending it. It'll make a little more sense, but we're also gonna be making a fiberglass T-top from a mold. So if that's anything you guys are interested in, make sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna go through the whole process of making the mold and then actually doing the layup in it and how that comes out. But to begin with down here, I have my pipe bender and I have my chop saw with a cutoff wheel on it. That's gonna help a bunch. I'm gonna walk you guys through how I'm bending the pipe and what my process is. It might not be perfect. I'm not gonna say that it is, but it's how I'm doing it. And I think it's gonna work out. Before I start, if you guys are new here, I'm Bush Fishing, I run ST Marine. I normally do outboard repair, inboard, stern drive, fiberglass, which I do have some fiberglass videos coming, doing actual repairs on boats, but I also do fishing, if I didn't say that. If that's anything you guys are interested in, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, because we got a whole bunch coming this year. I'm gonna push it real hard on the YouTube. Oh, and if you guys want any Bush Fishing or SD Marine merch, first, second link down in the description, first link's the website. If you guys are in kinda southeastern Wisconsin, Lake Country area, and all around that, if you go to the website, you can fill out a form and I can work on your boat if you want me to. Alrighty, so I got this pipe marked out. You can see there's a seam here. This is mild steel. Obviously, I would have preferred to use stainless, but we're kind of doing a budget build on this boat. So this steel is going to be epoxy coated. It shouldn't be an issue. They build boats out of steel, but this is what we're doing. So when this steel is made, it's pressed together. You guys can see the seam here. I'm going to be using this seam as my center. So I've measured up with a little bit of extra room because I don't know how much height the bend is gonna take out of it. But the console height, I believe, is 30 and a quarter to where I want it to bend. So I did this at 38, I believe, and we'll just cut the end off afterwards. But here's our center, and I marked one inch, four inches on either side. When I put it into my bender over here, I'm gonna line up the center and I'm gonna start the bend where that paint mark is. I'm gonna start the bend and move it around so I don't have any crimps in the pipe. Obviously, this is only 10 degrees. It's not gonna take a whole lot, but I do not want the pipe to be crimped. I want it to be the two inch all the way. Over here, that's the chop saw. We'll get into that later. But for now, that was a lot of talking. I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod and I'm gonna try and walk you through what I'm doing, but it might be a little difficult. I don't know how much this pipe bender really bends yet. It's my first time using this one. I always use the hydraulic one in the past, but I don't wanna use that because there's no way of like measuring it and it's somewhere else. So I guess there's only one way to learn is to do it. So let's get into it. A lot of people do this on the ground. I'm gonna be doing this up in the air. All right, so tighten up the valve on the bottom. Make sure that's tight. What I'm doing is I'm lining up the pipe with my mark on the top. That's gonna be my reference point. And I'm gonna pump this up until I feel pressure on the tubes. Alrighty, so I've just got pressure there. I'm gonna give it two pumps and it's gonna give me a little bit of preload on the pipe. So now what I'm gonna do, preload is for spring back. When you bend the pipe, if you bend it to 90 perfectly, and let off of it, it's gonna go back. So my preload is pretty much already bending it a little bit. So now I'm gonna count my pumps. I'm gonna do probably 10 to start with, pull the pipe out, measure it with the angle gauge and see what we're at. And then I'm gonna be counting it because what I need to do is make this identical to the other side. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All righty, I'm gonna loosen her up now. You can almost physically see the pipe springing back, but I'm gonna loosen it up all the way. 
let it come down and I'm gonna pull the pipe up so you guys on the GoPro will be able to see this. Alrighty, well I think this is gonna be the best way to do it. That's not big enough. 10 degrees is set on the square here and it looks like I'm nowhere near it, but I also don't really know if this is accurate. Alrighty, change of plans. I wanna make sure this is accurate. I have my bend here. So hopefully you guys can see where my bend is. It crimped a little bit, but that's coming up. It's showing that that's about five degrees. I'm gonna cut my straights at 10 degrees have them flat on the ground next to it and see if I can line up that with these being square. If I can, great. If I can't, we'll just keep working this until we get it even. All righty, so we'll get this set up to 10 degrees. 10 degrees should be right there. Should be doing it the other way, but we're gonna do it this way. We'll just cut a little bit of the end off. It should be it right there, all right? Flat up against it. All right, this is gonna be loud. Okay, so I think this is the best way I can show you guys. This pipe, if I hold the camera level, sitting back at 10 degrees, this pipe comes up straight and bends back, and it looks like that was accurate, but this is about five degrees. So I'm gonna put this back in the bender. I'm gonna bend it probably another 10 pumps, and we'll see if we can get these to even out. Alrighty, I'm starting one inch behind the center. I'm gonna do five pumps, and I'm gonna do one inch in front of the center and do probably three pumps. So we got our preload on it. One, two, three, four, five. Scoot it over to the other mark. So now looking at it, I wish I went with the three pumps. It looks like we're a little too much, but you can see from the separation at the bottom, start out wider there, they come up and then they kind of start bending together. I kind of like the way that looks, and that might give me a little more support. I haven't figured this out yet. I think I need to move those two out further because it did crimp this pipe super hard. I don't think that'll look too butt ugly. I can definitely do stuff to hide that, but this I'm pretty happy with. <laughs>
right, everybody. I am super happy with how this is going so far. So I'll walk you through it verbally first. What I did was I cut 10 degrees off the bottom of the straight piece. That gives me my 10 degree angle coming up and I bend the pipe at 38 inches and then bend to 10 degrees to match the front pipe. So what we got is this pipe is at 10 degrees coming up. We have a crossbar, which I notched. I didn't really talk through that, but how you notch these is the pipes coming at a 90 degree angle with this pipe. So what you do is you take a third off of either end. So that would be 30 degrees on either side. And it makes a very nice notch joint. So that's going to be super easy to weld. You can see right there, the tubing bender crimped the pipe and made a kink in it. So that is the base the width of the base of the console and up here where the bends and they meet that is the top of the console height and width so these will follow it up perfectly so let me get on the other side if you can imagine base of the console top of the console going up t-top here oh look at that t-top there there's going to be a pipe that's notched into the end of the tubing coming out and then 90 degreeing up to support the back of the t-top it's going to be a little bit of overhang here but the majority of it's going to be over the back and from that pipe, the rocket tubes will come off. So I'm very happy with how these guys turned out. It's not the most intricate T-top design. I can obviously build off of it, but for now, I just wanna see the boat with the T-top on and all the pipes and everything, because I think that's gonna make her look a lot younger and a lot more expensive. Pretty much where I'm at with the boat right now is I have the top cap in and the back and I have the centerpiece. I just need to glass up all the seams and do the finish work on those. And I need to get a new core in the base once I get the new core material in the base for the center floor section, I can put the floor in, I can glass the rest of it, and after that, it's all the fun stuff. Then it's just the finishing work, which I think I'm gonna wait on the finishing stuff because I wanna get the transom finished up on the outside, painted so I can hang the motor on it. Once the motor's on, that boat's ready for the water. But yeah, what I need to do now is cut the feet. So there's gonna be steel plate on the bottom of all these pipes welded in, and there's gonna be four holes drilled in each of them. Those four holes are gonna have the bolts that bolt it down to the floor of the boat and that bolt it up to the T-top. I'm gonna put a piece of wood, like little wood feet on the T-top, glass over that. And then from there, that's gonna get the, that's gonna hold the leg screws, which are gonna hold the T-top on. Should be super solid, but I am a little nervous about how well the bolts going through the deck are gonna hold it. Theoretically, there's 16 bolts holding it down. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see if I feel like it won't hold up in waves or trailering. I'll add some more support. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for today after I show you guys that. that is gonna do it for this video i'm cold and i smell like steel but we got all the pipe cut we got the feet cut and then when you do see the next video we'll probably mount the poles in the boat and then start making the mold for the actual piece after that it's gonna be pretty good i got three videos coming this weekend one of them is gonna be a fiberglass repair on a boat one on the boat just doing the rest of the uh glassing in the top caps and then there was a third one Oh, this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned if you want to see the boat finished. There's going to be a lot more coming and we're going to have a lot of fun on it this year, using it for all different kinds of things and going on trips with it. Once again, first link down in the description, ST Marine merch, Bush Fishing merch, and stmarinewi.com. You guys want to check that out, see a little more about me. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.